Hello students, in this video we will see a similar language program in 8085 microprocessor to count occurrence of data or to count occurrence of number. Write an assembly language program to count the occurrence of the data 55H in a memory block starting from C200H to C209H. Store the count at memory location C300H. So, we have given a block of data that is block of memory. Block start from C200H to C209H. So, 10 data are there or 10 numbers are present in memory locations. We will be writing a program for the occurrence of number 55H that is in a given loop or in the given block of data. How many times the number 55H occurred? That is, we have to count and the result will be stored in the memory location C300H. That is, if the data 55H is occurred 3 times in the block, then the content of memory location C300H will be 03H and if the number occurred 4 times then the content of the memory location C300H will be 04H. We will start with our program. The content of memory locations are given. In this block of uh, data is present. So we have to initialize memory locations with any register pair. In this program we will initialize the memory location C200H with the register pair HL. So after writing the uh, instruction Alexa H C200H the content of H will become C2 and the content of L will become the 0 0. The HL register pair now points to memory location C200H. So that's why the content of C200H that is 01H will copies into the memory. Now the second instruction is MVIC0AH. In this program we will set two counter. First counter for loop and the second counter for occurrence mvi c 0 ah we have given the block of data from memory location c200 h to c209 h that's why we have 10 block of data so we will set the counter to mvi c 0 a h we will the content of register c will become 0 a h the next instruction is mvi b 0 0 h by using this instruction we will clear the content of register b register b will now become 0 0 h the register B work as a occurrence counter in this program. The next instruction is mu a comma m. We will tra transfer the content of memory into the register A that, that is in accumulator. The content of memory is 0 1 H. So, now the content of register A accumulator will become 0 1 H. Before uh, executing any uh, before before performing any operation, we have to compulsory store one operand into the accumulator. And 
the final result will store into the accumulator that's why we will move the content of memory into the accumulator by using instruction move a comma m one next instruction is cpi 55h in this uh, program we have to count the occurrence of data 55h that's why we will compare the immediately uh, content of accumulator with the 8 bit data 55h cpi data compare immediate data with content of accumulator the format of the uh, instruction is given in this instruction the sub instruction subtract the 8 bit data given in the instruction from the content of the accumulator and the sets a condition flags as a result of subtraction the content of accumulator and data are unchanged as a result of comparison is indicated by the flags the result of comparison is indicated by setting the flags as follows in this when con content of accumulator is greater than 8 bit data the carry flag will be reset and zero flag will be reset when both the content of uh, uh, content of accumulator and the content uh, contained in 8 bit data is equal then the carry flag will be reset and zero flag will be set when the content of accumulator is less than the 8 bit data the carry flag will be set and zero flag will be reset in our program the instruction cpi 55h is given we have to find out we have to count occurrence of the 55h in this program so we will compare immediately with content of accumulator with 8 bit data so the first content of uh, memory location is c200 h after ex uh, c200 h is equal to 01 h after executing instruction move a comma m the content of accumulator will become zero one h and we are immediately compare with uh, eight bit data fifty five h so in this the content of accumulator is less than the eight bit data that's why in this the carry flag will be set and zero flag will be reset so in this uh, we will not uh, find uh, found our match that's why we will jump in uh, jump to a next memory location uh, so hl pair uh, will now point to the memory location c201 h the content of accumulator is now 55 h so the 8 bit data is 55 h so now the content of accumulator and the 8 bit data is same that's why the carry flag will be reset and zero flag will be set when we jump from one mem location to the uh, next uh, mem location that time the memory location will be incremented increment but the uh, the the uh, the counter will be decremented by one so the our counter is z zero a h the now counter will become zero nine when we jump to the location c201 h when we jump to the location c202 h the counter will become 08 h actual pair pointing to the memory location c200 h the content of memory is 01 h after executing the instruction 
move a comma m the content of accumulator will become 0 1 at the next instruction is cpi 55 at we are comparing the content of accumulator with the 8 bit data 55 at when we compare content of accumulator 0 1 at with the content uh, 55 edge the content of accumulator is less that's that's why the carry flag will be set and zero flag will be reset that's why if the carry flag will be reset then we will jump to the location we will jump to the instruction inx edge the instruction is jump if not zero if the the carry for the zero flag is set then we will jump to the inr b the inr b will increment the content of register b by one so now the the zero flag now the zero flag is reset that's why we will jump to the instruction INR, INX H, INX H increment the content of HL by 1. So now HL pair will increment by 1. So it will point to the memory location C201 H. Now the HL pair will point to the memory location C201 H. So, the our counter will decrement by 1. When we increment the memory location by 1, that time obviously the counter will decrement by 1. So, the counter will decrement up to it will become the 0. When counter will become 0, we will exit from our loop. But in this, the the counter is now 9 after decrement by 1 that's why counter will not a counter is not 0 that's why we will jump to the location move a comma m when counter will become 0 that time we will uh, come to the instruction move a comma b but in this the now counter is 9 that's why we'll again uh, jump into the our loop after executing instruction inx edge pointer will comes on c201 edge the hl pair will now points to the memory location c201 edge the content of memory will become 55 edge after executing instruction move a comma m the content of accumulator will become 55 edge. The next instruction is CPI 55 edge. This instruction will compare the content of accumulator with 8 bit data 55 edge. The content of accumulator and the 8 bit data is same. That's why in this case the zero flag is set. When zero flag is set, it will jump to the INR B. It will increment the occurrence counter. It will increment the occurrence counter by 1. So now the content of register will become register B will become 0, 1, H. After that, the instruction is INX H. When the INX H in instruction will execute, the memory location HL pair will point to the memory location C202 H. DCR C. The counter when the memory location is incremented by 1, the counter will decrement by 1. The counter will decrement up to it become 0. The counter is not 0. That's why the, the pointer will again jump into the loop. 
it will point to the neck location C202 H. HL pair now points to the memory location C202 H. The content of C202 H is 0 C H. So now after execution, executing the instruction move a comma m the content of accumulator will become 0 c h the next instruction is cpi 55 h this instruction in this instruction you will compare the content of accumulator with the 55 h the content of accumulator is 0 c h is less than the 8 bit data that's why here the carry flag will be set but the zero flag will be reset when the zero flag will reset then it will the loop will jump to the instruction inx h when zero flag is reset jump if not zero then the pointer will the jump to the inx h so the it will point to the next location c2 0 3 h when we increment the memory location by 1 the the counter will decrement by 1 the the, the next instruction is jump if not 0 it will check the counter is 0 or not if counter will counter is 0 it will exit from the loop if counter is not zero it will jump to the instruction move a comma m so in this the counter will become the in this counter is zero at after executing instruction dcrc the counter is counter will become zero seven that's why here counter is not zero so it will again jump to the instruction move a comma m and after executing this loop the count the register b is only 0 1 the hl pair point to the last location c209 at after executing the instruction move a comma m the content of accumulator will become 0 f h the next instruction is cpi 55 h comparing the content of accumulator with immediate data 55 h the content of accumulator is less than 55 h that's why zero flag is reset so the loop will jump to the instruction inx h and the hl pair is incremented by one when we increment the hl pair by one the counter will decrement counter is decrement by one the counter is now become zero so here if the count uh, the zero flag is set it will exit from the loop it will not go to the look uh, instruction move a comma m it will exit from the loop so it will come on next instruction move a comma b so here we store the cont uh, we, we move the content of register b into the accumulator so in register b the count of occurrence of data 55 h is present so we have to store that count into the location c300 h that's why we will write instruction sta c300 h so the this instruction will store the content of accumulator that is 04 h to the memory location c300 h so the content of c300 h will become now 04 h so in this uh, input the 0 55 h will occur uh, four times that's why the 
final result is 04H into the location C300H. So now we will end our program by using instruction by writing instruction RST1. For your understanding, you have to write the program in this format, but actually you have to write program into the table format this way memory location label opcode operand plus mnemonics and comment the memory location always start with location c triple zero h label will start with start opcode opcode is a machine code you don't have to buy a this opcode operand and mnemonics comment you have to always write semicolon in front of comments so our first instruction is lxi edge c200 edge so lxi edge c200 edge is 3 byte instruction because 1 byte for opcode and other 2 byte for lower byte and higher byte so next location we will in next location we will write lower byte address and in next uh, and third location at third location we will write the higher byte address the next instruction is mvic 0 ah this instruction is two byte instruction one byte for opcode and the second byte for 8 bit data again next instruction mvib 00h is two byte instruction one byte for opcode and second byte for data you can see the comments first uh, comment for first instruction is initialize hl pair with memory location c200 h the next instruction is mvi c0 h move immediate data 0 h into the register c mvi b00 h move immediate data 0 h into the register b we will see next instructions move a comma m move the content of memory to accumulator this is one byte instruction only opcode is present again second in uh, next instruction is cpi 55 h this instruction is two byte instruction one byte for opcode and second byte for data the next instruction is chain z so jnz jnz is 3 byte instruction so in this the opcode for jnz and the next two byte for the address address of the location that we have to jump so here loop one is here so we will jump to the location loop one here memory location c00 eh if the zero flag is not set we will jump to the location c00 eh so that's why we will write here c00 e so first lower byte then higher byte the next instruction is inrb this is one byte instruction so here we have to write semicolon the next instruction is inx h inx h is one byte instruction then dcrc also a uh, one byte instruction again jump if not zero this is three byte instruction one byte for opcode and the next two byte for the address of location 
where we have to jump so here if zero flag is not set that time we will jump to the location c 007 so here we will write in label we will write loop 2 loop 2 and here we are write in label we have to we will write loop 2 where we have to jump so the next instruction is move a comma b is a one byte instruction again then next instruction is sta c3 0 0 edge store content of accumulator to member location c300 h so we here we have to store content of accumulator to the location c300 h so your location is location is there so that's why this instruction is three byte instruction one byte for opcode and another next two byte for address our last instruction is rst1 stop so here you can see the all uh, you, you you can see the comment for all instructions compulsory you have to write semicolon semicolon in front of all comments thank you